Where is he going? Earth. To finish what I started. And this time, none of you will be left behind. That structure in the center of the city, it's a Forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brood has the Index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. It's not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. Blood-controlled dropships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that grave mine, used us. We were just a diversion. An amber-clad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it.
I'll disable this lift once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn my charity into another of their wretched hides. No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the launch sequence. But there's something inside the ship, a presence that's fighting back. For a Covenant construct, it's unusually formidable.
Parasite did not defeat the Forerunners. And it shall not defeat us. Arrogant creature. No one else will be While we shall suffer the progress of infinity. of the tower are particularly robust. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of truth, and I am not afraid. Noble mercy is here, my side. His wise counsel never in my ears. We exist together now. Two corpses in one grave. Prophet Hierarch's private quarters, their inner sanctum.
not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle. This will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle before the journey and the salvation. The history of the Arbiter is one of both legend and infamy. Their name has been corrupted by great shame. Though the contemporary is perhaps the most confounding of all. Thel Vadimi was born of noble blood, the legendary house of Vada. His family's renown demanded great expectations for his military career, and he would meet them all. the youngest to achieve the status of shipmaster, and one of the youngest to gain the rate of supreme commander. In our campaign against the humans, few have risen to renown as Vadami. World after human world, all laid low for the sake of the great journey. But then came Halo. Shame unto shame. He failed his greatest charge and the sacred ring was desecrated. By such disgrace, Thel Vadimi became the Arbiter. As a mere scribe, I do not challenge the word of the Hierarchs, but I would be remiss not to voice concern. This Sangheili should have been put down, publicly slain as an example to all of our prayerful expediency. With the discovery of a second ring and the changing of the guard, all things are in jeopardy. Will this arbiter remain loyal? Or will he stand with his people as they are abolished by our newfound might? I would never openly challenge the divine proclamations of a hierarch. 
but this Arbiter is a risk I would not have tolerated. And I now fear the days of the Covenant are numbered. Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. Now is the time of our unworlding. The moment we shall all be as gods. You know the plan. You've got to stop truth. I've got to handle the index. Go! Chief, when you get to Earth, good luck. After I'm through with truth. Now make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. <laughs> 